Hi, this is Fatima. Here let us discuss ASP.NET Core Request Processing Pipeline with an example. Before proceeding to this video, watch my previous video where we discussed about how to configure the middleware components in ASP.NET Core application. ASP.NET Core Request Processing Pipeline consists of a sequence of middleware components which are going to be called one after another. Each middleware component can perform some operations before and after invoking the next component using the next delegate. The middleware component can also decide not to call the next middleware component which is nothing but short circuiting the request pipeline. The middleware components have an access to both incoming request and outgoing response. The order in which the middleware components are added in the configure method of the startup class defines the order in which these middleware components are going to be invoked on request and the reverse order for the response. So the order is critical for defining security, performance and the functionality of the application. Let us discuss these points in detail with an example. This is an ASP.NET Core web application we have created with an empty project template. In order to understand the request processing pipeline in ASP.NET Core concept, let us modify this configure method of the startup class. First we inject the logging middleware ilogger startup into the configure method. Press control period to include the namespace. The create default builder method of the program class which is called by the main method configures the logging. The logger is configured for console, debug and event source. In our example, we are using the logger instance which is provided through dependency injection to log the information. If you are running the application using .NET Core CLI, then you can see the logged information on the console window. Whereas, if you are running your application directly by Visual Studio, then you can see the logged information in the output window itself. We are registering three middleware components into the request processing pipeline. The first two components are registered with use extension method and the last one is registered with run extension method. This output is coming from the run extension method which is the terminal middleware. We already selected the debug option from this drop down list of the output window. You can see the order in which it logged information. It lo when the incoming HTTP request comes, first it receives by the first middleware component. First use extension method. This middleware one which logs middleware one incoming request. So as a result, first we see this message on this window. Middleware one incoming request. Once the first middleware logs the information, then it calls the next method which will invoke the second middleware in the request processing pipeline. So the middleware 2. The second middleware logs the information middleware 2 incoming request. As a result, we see here in this log information after the first log. Then the second middleware calls the next which will invoke the third middleware in the request pipeline which is the middleware 3. The third middleware handles the request and produces the response. So the third information that we see in the output is incoming request handle and response generated. As this middleware component is registered using run extension method, it is a terminal component. So from this point, the request pipeline start reversing. That means from this middleware, the control is given back to the second middleware and the second middleware logs the information middleware to outgoing response. And then 
give control back to the first middleware component logs the information middleware one outgoing response as we see here in the log information from this example you are little clear about that asp.net core request processing pipeline consists of sequence of middleware components which are going to be called one after the another each middleware component can perform some operation before and after invoking the next component using the next delegate the middleware component can also decide not to call the next middleware component which is nothing but short circuiting the request pipeline now clear that the order in which the middleware components are added in this configure method of the startup class defines the order in which these middleware components are going to be invoked on request and the reverse order for the response hope you enjoy this video our next video is about asp.net core static files middleware components thank you